blessed children in the world. I love you and thank you for coming towards me on this day. Thank you for listening to this message. Thank you for hearing my voice, my instructions unto you now for right living. I praise you my children for all that you are doing in my name, for the love in your heart, the joy in your soul. I fill you now with my presence, my child. I fill you full to overflowing with my divine and holy, holy spirit. Receive my love upon your life. Receive my presence, my glory. Feel me this day, my child. Be still and know that I am God, that I am your saviour the one whom you love. Feel me this day, my child, swirling within your innermost being, burning fire glory flowing through you now. My Lord, I fall to my knees in your glory, overcome by your presence. Nothing on the earth compares. Oh, how I love you, my Lord, I cannot speak can hardly breathe your presence so strong upon me now. Take my hand, my child, and together we shall fly. I see myself flying in spirit and truth, singing praises to my God, giving him all the praise, love and glory. For he is good. He is my saviour, my father in heaven, my Creator, Rescuer of my soul through His beloved Son, our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. He fills me with His peace, His love, His rest. Oh, how beautiful is a touch of heaven, no words could ever describe. Our God must be felt, experienced, heard, for he is living and active. He is all-consuming fire, love, passion, our one true desire. He satisfies our soul like no other. He rescues us from the pits of despair. He saves us, redeems us, sanctifies us through his love. He sent to us his only son to live and die and rise again so that we can experience new life. I feel like we are flying through a trillion galaxies. I see universes and universes. I understand the meaning of life. I am eternal life. I am one with God and everything makes complete sense. I have new understanding of all things. I know why I exist. I understand where I am going. I am free, free to soar, free to be me, the person God truly created me to be, made in his image, made to reflect his glory, his beauty, his unconditional love for our fellow man. I feel the Father rushing through every cell in my body. In spirit and truth, he fills me with all that he is, and I feel his love, his peace, his joy in his creation. I am surrendered completely before him, allowing him to take me on a journey with no resistance, no fear, just complete trust that he is in control of all things, all of my ways. I see myself sitting on a high mountain overlooking a city upon the earth. My child, I wish to speak unto the nations through you, through these words. I need to declare my truth upon the nations. I need you to hear my words and dictate them unto the world.
Trust me, my child, I shall never let you down. I promise to fill you with my peace and truth. I promise to pour out my Holy Spirit upon this generation so that all the world can see my ways, feel my love, taste and see that I am good. Beautiful Father in heaven, I give you all that I am so that your task on the earth can be fulfilled. Please take these words to the nations, Lord. Please change hearts according to your ways. I thank you and praise you for taking your children on this journey and bow humbly in service towards you now. My child, you are my ambassador, my mouthpiece for this generation, and you shall listen and declare my words until the end so that all of my children shall come to know me, so that the whole world can choose to bend their knee. I see the Father handing me a flower, I take it and smell the fragrance within. My child, I created this beautiful flower for you, for all of my children in the world, my gift of love for you all. The precious flower which fulfills so many important tasks upon the world, but most importantly, it represents my love for all my children. My gift of love and beauty for you all. Every time you pick a flower, remember me, my children. Every time you smell the fragrance of a rose, remember my love for the nations. How I created you, knitted you together in your mother's womb. Look at each delicate petal and remember how intricately you are made. That I designed you perfectly for such a time as this. That I put you together uniquely, individually, yet perfectly as I desired you to be. Not how the will of man desires you to be, but how I need you to be on the earth for my glory at this time. You are created as I need for you to be. Every person is different. There is no perfect person. Yet you are all perfect in my sight, for I know each and every individual person. I know your thoughts, your feelings, your true heart's desires, for I place these desires within you. You all walk according to my ways if you have surrendered your heart and soul towards me. If you desire to walk in the will of God and not man, I promise to lead you, my children, throughout every single day that you live upon the earth but you must be filled full to overflowing with my Holy Spirit. You must surrender before the throne of Christ, repentant of your sins, coming before me with all of your needs so that I can heal and restore you, deliver you and set you free. Every child on the earth has free will and many choose to walk away, to not believe, to try and do life on their own, but they never succeed. It is only by the power of my Holy Spirit that life goes well for you, my children. It is only by my Spirit that all things work out for good in your life. Your Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ was taken to this very place and tested and trialled by the enemy himself. Every child on the earth is offered the world to follow his ways. He will promise you money, riches, wealth and fame. But he will also offer you eternal life if you bend your knee before his name. Resist the devil, my children, and he shall flee. Do not listen to his shallow promises, for nothing good can ever come from evil from the darkness of his heart. 
If you have been walking in the world, my child, and wish to turn from your wicked ways, I ask that you surrender heart and soul before me now. I ask that you give unto your God your life. My dearest children in the world, please reach out your hand and place it in mine. Begin to worship, close your eyes and allow me to take you to places never seen before. Trust me, my child, this is the voice of your Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for speaking truth unto the nations this day. Thank you for this magnificent journey. Praise your holy name. My child, I wish to speak unto my beloved children through you both. For you are my two messengers, my words of hope. Thank you for all that you are doing faithfully in my name. I promise to heal and restore you, to speak with you one on one each day. Together we shall take mankind on a journey they have never seen before, through heaven's door, through heaven's holy door. Go to your rest this day, my child. Take my presence with you wherever you go. Today we enter into the deepest partnership, a ministry between man and God. Today I anoint all which you are doing, so that my words can spread rapidly across your earth. Thank you, beloved child, for all that you are doing now in my name, for my honour and glory. Thank you for your love and dedication unto my will. Thank you for your worship, your prayers, your faith and your devotion. Thank you for your love, your heart of love towards mankind. I give unto you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. I give unto you spiritual sight so that you can reveal my glory unto the nations, so that you can bring all of my children back into my loving care through the love of Christ. Receive my presence this day, my child. Receive my burning fire within your very spirit now. I promise to open your spiritual eyes so that you can see further so that you can hear my voice and rest in my love eternally. I am your Father in heaven and I envelop you now with my wings. You will rest in my shadow. You will rest in my peace, my joy, my love. You will feel content in every situation. I bring you my peace this day, my child, now and forever, your Father in heaven. Amen.